else to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Hello, hello, and welcome into my show today I am Trucker Rudy from Canada And we are here at the yard right now <clears throat> We just finished picking up our preloaded trailer here at the yard. And look at all the trailers in here. That's what I was telling you guys a couple of days ago that they were getting everybody home. So that's why you see so many trailers in the yard. I mean, look at even here in the center. Usually you don't even see any trailers in there, you know? You have plenty of trailers in there right now. Lots of trucks are home right now. That's why I was talking about it the other day that we would probably not get a load out on Monday if uh, if I wanted to wait till Monday you know but here we are it is Sunday afternoon Actually, it's quarter to three right now and we are leaving we got ourselves a load of peat moss going to Morrison Illinois which is very close to Clinton, Iowa. And I'm sort of thinking that I'm going to go through uh, Clinton. Turn right on Highway 52. And uh, I'm going to see if I can arrange to meet with uh, Chuck and Angie's show. Yeah, I wouldn't mind meeting up with them guys. And I'm sure they wouldn't mind meeting up with me either, you know? At least I would think so. Continue on this road for 21 kilometers. Oh wow, they changed that to an SO, eh? I never knew that. That used to be fast track. No, not fast track, uh, fast gas. That's what they used to call this little gas station here to the left. Ha! Huh. They must have bought it out. SO must have bought it out. Oh well. But anyways, as I was saying, I would like to meet up with them and, you know, we are both YouTubers and uh, I'm sure they would love to meet up with me and we could have a good uh, good meeting or get together and maybe have a cup of coffee or dinner or lunch whenever it works for them. That would be awesome. But we got to go across Pemina again. Pemina, North Dakota, I'm referring to as the border crossing. Yeah, that's right. I'm really hoping that you guys will have enjoyed yesterday's video. I know I didn't do any talking on there and probably for some people it was probably boring or at least it got boring after a while, but uh, I enjoyed it. I had a blast in there, and and <laughs> I recorded the whole thing there. Man, I I took uh, me an extra battery along, and I changed batteries in between, and I recorded the whole darn spiel. And I tried to uh, take the best sections out of there and show them to you. Now some of them are not all exactly the way they happen, but. Uh, I tried to show, put it together to the best of my knowledge. I hope I did a good job in putting it together for you though. And hopefully it will be interesting to you guys. And uh, the music that, if you watched it all the way to the end, the music that you heard at the end of the video was uh, played uh, in the afternoon. When we got there at the uh, hydro hydro building, Manitoba Hydro Building in Winnipeg on Portage, and uh, I enjoyed it. I got to hear some the German uh, German songs, and since I do speak German, 
I understood everything about it and I used to play those or we used to sing those songs when we were German or uh, in the school in German and, and uh, in our class there in German and uh, in Paraguay you know we used to sing those songs in German ourselves so I was very familiar with those songs and I enjoyed them and that was a good memory that came back to me when we heard all of that that was the very first time I ever went to a Santa Claus parade in Winnipeg but I think next year I will go again and uh, I will probably be even more prepared to go and this time I forgot to bring gloves so my fingers were starting to get cold there every once in a while but hey that's okay we managed to survive and Anyways, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a spiel on what happened yesterday, what we did yesterday. After all that was, well, we didn't stay till it was completely done, but uh, after a while we had arranged to uh, meet up with our friends at their place and we went back to their place and we uh, ended the celebration with a nice barbecue at my friend's place. A couple of drinks, you know, a couple of beers. We had a very nice celebration of the beginning of the Christmas spirit and then the holidays of, of the Christmas I like to call it the Christmas month or, or Christmas spirit you know like it's the beginning of uh, kicking everything into high gears and uh, and getting the, the, the Christmas uh, idea you know for me at least uh, getting all the Christmas lights and getting into the spirit of all the Christmas uh, things that you do out there, you know? Like Christmas gathering, like getting together with friends and family and having all kinds of eatings out and getting into the whole spirit, you know? That was a nice kickoff to uh, to start uh, to start that, you know? Oh, there's a snowmobile already. Oh, wow. Uh, probably is not quite enough snow yet to really be snowmobiling, but I guess he's getting an early start. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, that's about all for right now. So we'll uh, we'll be back in a minute. For you, it will be a second, but or less than a second, a millisecond maybe. Alrighty, guys, here we are. We just crossed the border into North Dakota. And we could have been 45 minutes further down the road. But this guy up here at the booth, at the border crossing here, he decided to uh, pull everybody into the scanner and x-ray everybody. Which I don't have a problem with, but I mean, they got to do their job, right? Well, what pisses me off is, you know, there was four trucks in the lineup. I couldn't really even get into the lineup. And then he tells me to go in there. Normally, they will let you go if, if there's a big lineup at the, at the scanner, you know. But uh, all of these ones were grain haulers ahead of me. They were really looking for something at the grain haulers today. And so they take 15 minutes or so for each truck ahead of me, you know. Like that was crazy. So it took me 45 minutes to get through the scanner to x-ray my truck. Luckily when they did mine, it didn't take very long, maybe five minutes. But all the other guys, it took like 10, 20 minutes, you know. But whatever. No, we are finally in the USA and we're putting the hammer down see how far we get tonight got to do a few miles in order to make it to where I want to make it tomorrow and I'm sort of thinking tomorrow we might be meeting up with a couple of youtubers yeah that's a good possibility but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens that's right anyways it's starting to get dark so we'll uh, 
we'll see you guys later well guys we have made it to Fargo and I just figured you know what it's only around 600 miles from here to my final destination and since I don't need to be there till the day after tomorrow at 10:30 in the morning I got plenty of time to get there right so uh, figure out I'll stop in here in Fargo at least I got good internet up here since I do have that Wi-Fi system uh, Sprint has got good 4G internet up here so I figured uh, just stop her in here and I uh, want to show you that I am cooking some uh, chicken breast yeah we're gonna have some uh, chicken sandwiches that's right I'm gonna have some chicken breast sandwiches that's right I just enjoy cooking in my truck you know and uh, especially if I have the time you know why not right but anyways we are done for today I figure I just close out the video and then uh, I'll grab me a quick bite to eat and finish rendering the video and try and get it uploaded to YouTube as well so that way uh, all my videos are up online so that way when uh, I get back into Canada or whatever I don't have to worry right but anyways that's about all I got thank you guys for watching